Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. In this video you will see my one day uh, trip into Madeira uh, from London. It's a four hour flight into Madeira uh, and I'll be exploring Funchal. I will now be leaving you with some facts about Madeira and Funchal and I shall get back to you later on. See you then. Let's get started on my video shall we? Funchal is the capital of Portugal's islands of Madeira. It is surrounded by hills known for its gardens, harbour and Madeira wine cellars. The city is home to the famous Monte Palace Tropical Garden, showcasing exotic plants from around the world. Funchal hosts one of the largest and most colourful carnivals in Portugal, attracting visitors from all over with lively parades, music and vibrant costumes. It is said to be the home of the world's first shopping centre called the Armas Square. Funchal hosts one of the largest New Year Eve fireworks displays in the world, attracting thousands of visitors to witness this spectacular show that lights up the sky over the harbour. Some people know this, but for those who don't, Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the most famous football players in the world, was born right here in Funchal. There is even a museum dedicated to him in the city. Now let's move on to Madeira itself. Madeira is an autonomous region of Portugal, just off the northwest coast of Africa and is known for its subtropical climate. Madeira is often thought of as an island and although the main largest island is the one visited by travellers and has the largest population, it is actually an archipelago of four islands. The islands are as follows, Madeira, Porto Santo and two smaller archipelagos named Desertas and Safarge. Although Madeira is part of Portugal, it is actually closer to Africa than Europe. It lies 434 miles west of Morocco and 528 miles southwest of Portugal and mainland Europe. The islands all sit in the North Atlantic Ocean and its proximity to the equator is what gives it its tropical climate. Every year the 1st of July is the day that the locals call Madeira Day and it marks the day when Portuguese explorers arrived in Macaco's Bay in 1419. Friends and family get together and enjoy food and drink typically in form of picnics. I touched on this earlier but Madeira actually holds the Guinness World Record for the world's largest New Year Eve fireworks display in the world. It gained the award in 2006 and then again in 2010. Now each year the island fills with travellers who want to witness this magnificent display. Hi guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. Uh, today we are on our way to uh, Gatwick Airport to get the flight to Madeira, Funchal Airport. Uh, temperature currently when we land will be 16 degrees, so it's going to be nice and warm for us out there. Flight departs at quarter past seven this morning. Um, and yes, I'm not going for a day this time, I'm going to be staying the night in the hotel. And I've got a lovely surprise, I'm not by myself this time either. I've got my father coming with me. There he is, driving away. Uh, on the way to on the way to um, Gatwick currently and I shall join you when I get back to the airport can't wait for this day Hello guys, so we're now at the Gatwick North Terminal, our flight departs at quarter past seven, uh, it's now quarter past six, so we've got an hour to go, uh, off to Funchal in Madeira, Portugal. I uh, shall get back to you when I'm out there, uh, show you all the sights. 
Hello guys and welcome to Madeira. We're currently at Funchal Airport. We're here. Um, made it about 20 minutes late after a bit of an issue with the ground handling equipment failing us here at Gatwick. Uh, and also another little incident at Gatwick was, well, I shouldn't have brought my dad with me, should I, really? Because this um, bag uh, kind of broke, so we had to pay new one £50 later. Uh, I don't know I'll bring him here, so I'll bring him something goes wrong. Um, anyway, we're now in uh, Funchal. Um, we're going to get the bus uh, into the main city of Funchal, uh, and I shall get back to you later on. <laughs> arrived in the city of Funchal in Madeira um, and like my previous videos uh, video you saw um, well, the best way to look around the city and the surrounding area will be by sightseeing bus so that's what we're just about to do now the bus is here and we're about to board it um, and I, I shall leave you with the views from the bus hope you enjoy From a different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the mist There's so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run till the end And we run without shame We own the game Oh, 
interesting uh, ride uh, with the views across the Atlantic Ocean. We're now uh, heading to McDonald's for lunch and then we're going to get a cable car. Hopefully some views. I don't think we get much. But it's uh, quite cloudy, but we'll see what we get at the top. Uh, my dad here is enjoying himself, of course. Um, and yeah, he doesn't say much on camera because he's very shy. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll get back to you later on. So we just travelled from on the cable car from Funchal up to the village of Monte uh, at the top of a, a mountain here near near Funchal. It was about a ten minute cable car ride. I uh, hope you enjoy the views. Got a bit of view from up here. Uh, we'll have a look around and then I think it'll be a taxi to uh, a world famous uh, tourist attraction here in Madeira of the Skywalk. I'll see you later on. guys and I'm currently standing at one of the highest cliffs in the world uh, standing at 589 meters high I'm at Cabo Juavo uh, and not for faint-hearted I'll be entering the skywalk uh, it's, it's meant to be a glass flooring over the edge of the cliff um, it's not bad it's going to cost two euros each so it's not actually that bad considering uh, it is one of the most popular attractions here in Madeira uh, yeah so let's see what the highest cliffs in the world has to offer
I've just arrived at our hotel for the night, Hotel de Judea, uh, which is uh, actually quite close to the uh, seafront here in uh, Madeira. Um, it's just behind me now, it's a four star hotel. Let's go inside and see what it has to offer. Hello guys, so we've made it to the room to this four star hotel. Uh, it's actually not a bad room. If I just take here, you can see it's not a bad size. Ignore the person in bed, don't know why he's sleeping during the day for. And then the rest, let's zoom into him anyway. Let's see what he looks like close up. Yep. Uh, anyway, so we've got two twin beds, uh, so they do separate slightly. So, we've got two beds there. Got a nice little lamp feature, bedside table next to it. You've got a telephone, you can make phone calls. Don't know why, because you've got mobiles these days. Little painting above the bed there. You've even got a TV there. Uh, English Channel, so that's easy. Got a balcony, let me just open it. Well, let's try to open it. Right, so that's now open, so it's a bit, it's a bit stiff. We'll go out here, this is the balcony. You've got a few of the garden, which is not bad. There you go, that's a view of the garden. Don't know why we're not at the top floor, I want to see a view, but never mind. A little table out in your balcony there, so you can sit here in the sun, read a book or whatever. Come through this way, you've got a little mini bar here. Nothing in there. And then you've got the toilet just around here. Turn the light on. Here we go. Toilet there. Toilet. You can wash your uh, anus in there, uh, and you've got a little bath, uh, snow, or a shower house there, so that connects on somehow. It's not that bad. You've got a little storage room here. Put your clothes, extra pillowcases, a little safe. So that's not actually that bad. Um, so yeah, that's our hotel here for the night. So, uh, while we're here, we're just going to have a little explore round. Um, my dad is with me, don't worry. I'm not by myself yet, I haven't left him yet. Uh, wishful thinking on my part, hey? Um, anyway, we're going to have a look, see the sea. Uh, there's a shopping centre just around the corner, open to 11pm, funnily enough. So we're going to um, have a look, see what's in there. There's 60 stores, 2,500 square metres of store space. Uh, so it's quite big, uh, and they're open to 11pm, uh, even on a Sunday. Uh, so I shall... Um, Show you around.
everyone knows once you go down you have to come back up these hills are killing me uh, it's killing my father a bit more than me though that's because he's old old and grumpy uh, so it's going to be with all these hills around uh, in Madeira uh, it's something that you know, people have to get used to it's very tiring indeed though Anyway, let's continue with my adventure around this area of Madeira. So that's my day in Madeira everyone, uh, look I enjoyed my time, now it's time to get some beauty sleep and tomorrow we are off across Europe all the way from here in Madeira to Finland to the Arctic Circle of Animi. we're changing in Porto, Milan and Helsinki so yes right across Europe. You can find out more and see that trip in my next video next week, see you then.